I need new rear brake rotor for my Suron. As many people know, it doesn't use a standard six volt, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the old Luna cycle. Ba -doo -ba -doo. Son of a. Ah. Out of stock. One of the biggest flaws with the Suron is that it doesn't use a standard six bolt rear rotor. The front does, so why can't the back? When I need one, I would expect to be able to get one, but I never can. So I've been dealing with a cracked rear rotor and riding dangerously. Luna never has stock, nobody does. So I've decided to take matters into my own hands. And what hands they are. So how did I go about this? Well, first thing I did was I went to Amazon and I ordered a good old Shimano Ice Tech rotor in the 203 millimeter size. Some 14 minutes later, this sexy son of a bitch showed up at my door. With him, he had a brake rotor. So I got to work. First thing I did was use some incredibly scientific methods of taping a stock rotor to the top of it. Time for some sweet, sweet circles. Now you're ready to drill. Dying Cletus, would you look at that? It fits. You know what doesn't fit though? Mr. Caliper holder. Hmm. Grind, 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 grind. What do we think? Does it fit? No. Okay, fine then. More grind. By the way, those are my safety flip-flops. All right, I bet that one's gonna fit. Does it work? No. I know what we need. More grind. Surely this will work. Okay, this is getting frustrating, but I have one more idea. I'm gonna grind some more. Okay, please work. Does this one work? Yes. Call me Whiskers! The answer to that question is yes, but there was one caveat. I did end up using a small washer that actually helped effectively line up the caliper better with the rotor. The end result there, boom. All good, floating rotors in the back, yow yow.